Hi everyone, today we are going to look at BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is a subscription for beauty products. There are three sizes, the regular size, and I'll put the prices right here so that you see the difference. There's like a premium, and then there is the real luxe boxy charm that comes only four times a year. I just received mine a couple weeks ago and I wanted to share the contents of it. It has eight full size products in it. But since I didn't do a boxy charm for last month, I will also share some of the products from the regular boxy charm. This makeup that I'm using, mine is the lipstick, and some of the hair product came in these boxes. Can't wait to show everything. I really am happy with the entire experience. Let's start with the small box from last month. Very quickly, this is what we got in it. Powder contour brush, blending sponge, medium shadow brush, and angle brow liner. I did use that brush for a lot of the stuff that I put on today. And uh, that scrub is just yum, delicious. I can feel the difference on my lips. They are definitely softer right there. Bally Balm Pineapple Scrub. And it has juicy pineapple, fragrance no extract it just has the fragrance it, it is so good i literally ate it and licked it off my lips yesterday sugarcane crystals coconut oil cinnamon orange and vanilla oh it is so yummy it's like a dessert <laughs> they're much better <laughs> all right so when was this awesome perfume and what it is, it's called the original. It is a roll-on oil with two ingredients, amber and musk. I mean, that would sound kind of disgusting for me because I'm not a musk person, but it is an oil that will give you your original scent. So it has that combination. You would just Roll it into your points. Usually is behind your ears and uh, behind your knee and also your wrists. And it gives you your original scent. Nobody else will smell like you. It's your little signature scent. And the fun thing about this is th this is for people that get headaches when they wear perfume. You can't get a headache from wearing these two oils apparently so just a beautiful little packaging cute little idea and i really think the scent is lovely on me i smell a little bit of amber and a hint of floral and it makes me happy i love scents overall so it's kind of cool to know that you have your own scent now so love that and then the another product that came in this bunch so there were five things it was the powder pineapple scrub delicious the roll-on perfume that's really your original scent this vitamin c rich eye cream which is so cute it doesn't have a scent it has yuzu is a fruit that's very rich in vitamin c it also has niacinamides and it's supposed to be very gentle on your eyes and if you're sensitive to anything you should be able to use it no problems it won't make your eyes water and i just think it's cute because it's squirted into this bottle into fluffy clouds of product. It's just a, a nice little consistency and I'm looking forward to using it. It's something for the future. And then the fifth item from that box was the Alley Youp, which is this multi, this is ideal. Not like say if you don't wanna buy a whole set, cause I mean, I have so many brushes, but if you don't wanna buy a whole set of brushes, you can do your whole makeup with this thing. How fun is that for when you travel? Love it. 
And of course the sponge and the fluffy blush and powder brush. So anyway, when you're on a bind and you really need to conserve space, this is ideal. I love that. I tried the eye cream yesterday and it felt very comfortable. It did not make my eyes water at all. Of course, I love the perfume. The setting powder is okay. It feels cakey if you put too much of on it, so don't just go easy on that setting powder. You can use it instead of makeup because it does have color and it will just give you a little even diffused look, which sometimes it's handy, and especially if you have oily skin. Now moving on to the big box. The big box had some fantastic stuff. Let's start with the iconic London sculpting palette. I'm gonna be using the iconic London multi-use sculpting palette as a foundation. That's all I need to do. I have cleaned my face and put moisturizer on. It's a little shiny. I'm not putting a primer today, but I think because the consistency of these is so creamy, I would recommend if you have oily skin, definitely to use some sort of a base that will keep it from going into your pores and it makes it the pores really large that's what i noticed when i tried it on so you have three highlighters and three low lighters i'm gonna use the whole palette to sculpt my face but also to conceal and i'm gonna use this little spongy thing and see if it works don't know. Good try. And I'm gonna start with the lightest shade right here and go under your eyes. That's what they say. Because that will highlight, that's super light. The bridge of your nose. Uh, I put a little bit right here above my lips. And your chin and a little bit right here um, on the middle of your forehead. In essence, is we're doing a painting and we're gonna do darks and, and lows all in once. I do want to conceal my spots, so the medium color right there looks right, so let's try that and see what happens. I'm gonna try that, oh, maybe a little darker. I'm painting, guys. <laughs> Looks like a lot, but I'm gonna do a little bit here too. I think all my dark spots with all the treatments are coming up so that soon my skin will be nice and even colored. Let's do the carving of my skin. That means like the darkening. And I'm gonna use this middle shade right here. It's very creamy, it's wet, it really is. And I'm gonna try, let me see, let me use a mirror because I'm using my computer screen but it's backwards, so I get a little confused. And really, I want to put it really close to the bone up here and here. So see how high I'm using this? Yeah, that's pretty high, but that's where I want it because I want to make my cheekbones appear higher than they actually are. You can also use this on your jawline. Like so, like so. I'm gonna get my little fatty area right there. <laughs> And also, some people would put it around their hairline. I will not because of my gray hair. I don't want to stain it. Now, I could use this or just my hands to spread it all out, but I think I'm gonna use my foundation brush just to make it easier on me and less messy. So I'm gonna start here with my light. It looks really light, but I think when you blend it all, it will, it will even out but I'm starting with the light and then I'm gonna start 
with the dark a little bit. I do feel like I need to use more dark, but let's do that middle, middle shade as foundation. So I'm going to put a little bit more. Blending it all in. Look at that, how beautiful. When you blend it all in, it's like doing your entire foundation and making your highlights prettier. And I apologize, I do have a sty. I think maybe I put my dirty hands during my spring break travel. My eyes. That's my little dark right there. The coverage is amazing. It's just like wearing foundation. Super fun. I love these sculpting. The sculpt, look at that. You can see like how darker it is right here on the side. I'm happy with it. In one little swoop, I was able to both apply foundation and make my features a little bit more prominent. I can even do the trick with the nose with this. And let me see if I can do that with a little bit of darkness. This is a nose trick that I use to make my nose a little, a little thinner and pointy. How about that? Lovely. I like it. Yesterday I tried using this here on my the heaviness of my lid right on that area to kind of shape and use it almost like an eyeshadow but really mostly to recede that area. I can try doing that again but I will be using an eyeshadow set that you're going to be excited about. But let me let me just try that so you can see how that looks. Ooh, look at how dark that is. <laughs> okay, maybe I did too much. Let's see how it goes. Let's just try. Just pulling towards the outside. Look at that. I mean, this thing is a one and all. <laughs> how beautiful. What do you think? It just blends so well that it's kind of like magic. I like it. Here it is, the basic foundation look before I put other items on. At this point, fixing powder that has color in it. It's used to mattify, set, and, cons and diffuse, and I'm hoping it will diffuse this area, so let's see how it does. You can see the color is really yellow, you know. So I'm gonna use the fluffy end. I'm gonna get some, but I'm gonna try to toss as much of it all out as possible because I don't want that color to change the actual coloring of my skin. Did it diffuse a little? Sure did. Just by taking that illumination off. But it did deposit a yellow tone to my skin, I think. That's okay, let's keep going. So there you go. That's the OVP powder. So this is gonna be a little messy in that I'm using products from two boxes, but really I just want you to see how the products work. My face is ready to go. I do not have any blushes on these sets, so in a minute I will do my blush and lipstick. So now moving on to the eyes. The BoxyCharm Luxe came up with this beautiful Natasha Denona Quint. Shadows are expensive, but this particular shadow, I think they are replaceable because it kind of wiggles. So I have a feeling that these pans come out. So they have the five colors. The set is called Cupid, Clove, Shell, Monroe, Nude Vino, Oxide. Now these colors remind me of a set, a quad, from Chanel that just came out for spring. There is a technique for applying that quad that I'm gonna try to use today so that you can replicate it with your own products. First thing you're gonna do, use the base shade all over the eye. So I'm gonna use this part of the brush, that second color right there 
all over the eye. It actually looks darker on my skin than it does in the pen. Then I'm gonna do the shimmery color next. I think it's called Shell. Ooh, look at that. And again, I'm kind of playing and replicating the look, but this is not an equal look because the Chanel one doesn't use any shimmer, but I like the shimmer. So now we're gonna do a little bit more of a precision color application. We're gonna use the little thin brush right there. Apply it real close to here, but thick enough that you can see it with your eyes open. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this color. Line my eye with that. See that? But I'm doing a thick job at it because I still wanna use a little bit of eyeliner. And now I'm gonna finish off with a brown eyeliner that I have already, very thinly. There you go, that's the look. You might wanna clean this area here a little bit more, but there it is. That is the look. Put a little bit of mascara on and I'll be right back. Oh, before we go, let me show you one product. It's called a Lawless and is a plumping Lawless Beauty Forget the Filler Lip Plumbing Line Smoothing Loss. It's clinically proven to plump your lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. It has a little sheer baby pink, it's lovely. So pretty, the packaging is cute. And actually you can read inside the packaging. I, I didn't open it to read the story. But I thought that was kind of cute that, you know, I love how people do packaging different. It has an expletive on it saying clean makeup that doesn't F around. Forget the filler. In other words, don't need to use fillers. This is good enough. So they say that in the, it will plump and then the more you use it, you will notice that the fine lines will disappear because it will plump. So there's got to be something in there that's actually going deep into the skin. The lip, forget the filler, super fun. Actually, I have that underneath my lipstick and I think I have a Laura Mercier lipstick above it. So looks super shiny, I'm pretty happy with it. This makeup look was inspired by the Chanel look, which I might purchase all the Chanel products and recreate it using the Chanel spring line. Just a really elegant, simple look. I did use some shiny shadows just because that's my signature look. Okay, there were two cool products that came in this box. One was the Area Beauty Lux Ovo Detangling Brush. And it is a flat brush with a pretty tall tines and it's ideal for detangling your hair. You will start detangling from the bottom like so. Instead of pulling from here down, this breaks your hair. So you just start at the bottom and work your way up. In combination with this fantastic liquid glass miracle smoothing sealant, this is so cool you guys. It is activated by heat and it will protect your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 232 Celsius. It's an ultimate frizz fighter. If you guys watch me, my hair is so frizzy most of the time. This morning, as I was getting dressed, I filmed myself using it with my hair. My hair was kind of dirty already and I didn't have to, time to clean, but I did want to have it straightened so that you guys can see how it works as far as the power of the brush and the liquid glass together because this brush just simply smooths out the hair and takes the curl out so easily and combined with the liquid glass it leaves the hair shiny and without all the frizz look at that 
I think these are both gems and great. I don't know where you can buy these, but I'll try to find it and I'll put the link below. But if you have a subscription for the boxy charm, sometimes you can purchase the items just by themselves without purchasing the entire box if they have extra inventory. But it definitely smooths out and removes all of the flyaways. And it's supposed to last for three shampoos. Yeah, last through three washes. Great product, I love that. Then another thing that came in the box was the Ren Eye Cream for Dark Circles. The Ren line, I have the entire line and I haven't had a chance to use it consistently like the entire line and I wanna do that someday. This one brightens dark circles. You can be sure that everything in the Ren line is clean. Edelberry flower extract is a zero waste byproduct of the French perfume industry and then it has glycogen which is sustainably sourced via non-GMO corn from Canadian farms. So yes there are some chemicals in it but 95% is absolutely natural. So I love the idea of the brand. Unfortunately I cannot tell you how it works on my skin because I haven't used the entire line although i do have it it's sitting there and someday i'm gonna work on that for you guys then there's the stay calm soothing sheet masks it has ingredients like chamomile and it's just the idea it's just gonna soothe away and it will smooth your skin in just one use infused with naturally calming ingredients like aloe chamomile and licorice root it will hydrate and leave your skin visibly smoother. So looking forward to using this in one of those days when I take the time just to pamper myself. The very last item is the Frank Body Perkis Cocting Body Butter. It is a hydrator. I know that everything you do is temporary. There is nothing that you can do permanent as far as cellulite is concerned. The fun part of it is you end up with a little coffee cup after you're done. It's quite creamy. I tried it on my hand yesterday. It smells, I'm not in love with the scent. Sorry, my dog just went crazy. It's like coconutty with a latte, but that's because you can smell the caffeine in it. And what caffeine does is it removes puffiness. So somehow caffeine should be able to help smooth out. But I have had one of those caffeine treatments on my thighs and I, saw the difference after thousands of dollars spent but nothing to write home about so I really gave up on it <laughs> but you end up with a coffee cup if you haven't had a chance go ahead and subscribe so that you can see other unboxings I mostly do unboxings of beauty products and clothing and sometimes lifestyle products for your house you all are my inspiration for all the videos I do I love to have you part of my muse group it's absolutely free all you have to do is subscribe see you next time